Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to get back on the engine on this thing. Let's switch away from the doors real quick because I got a couple parts in. I've got a makeshift upper radiator hose. I've got two different hoses from O'Reilly and hopefully I can get these to work. And also we have the fuel pump. Hopefully we can get this thing started. Cross your fingers on that. We got a ton of work to do, so let's go to work. Let's go. So guys, I got two hoses here and I try to make a template like this. I cut this out of some cardboard. This actually fits perfect. This is close when you make the bend. Not quite, it's a little long, like it's gonna stick out too far on the driver's side. And I don't know if the splash guards are going to get in the way. I might have to shrink this down or I, it won't work shrinking it down with these, but I may go another route, but for now, this is gonna work. Also, the ones for this I got, they're, they're both Master Pros. This first hose is 21631, is the part number. And this is 20694. So both of these together should make this. So guys, they also sold these unions here. It's basically, it's like a coupler. So cut these two down the center, in one side and the other, and this will join them. Two hose clamps and it should be nice and tight right there. I just don't think this is going to work. It might maybe get interfere with the brake lines. I just wish it was closer this way. And maybe I can if I just cut this and this and put two more unions in here, it might work. But for now, let's just cut them here and use this one. Well, I take that back. So I got another union, and this over this hose over here is a hair smaller than this one. Both same inner diameter, but it's like more. I guess this one's just thicker. I don't know what vehicles I came off of. I just went to the back of the store and just found something to fit my little cutout. But I think I can get this closer. So this one, this side, I can just cut to length of any however deep I needed to go. That's no problem. This side is the one that's got the perfect bend over here. However. I've got this union and I can just cut it somewhere in the middle and shrink this whole thing back into here. So I should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Let's cut it up.
it works absolutely outstanding. So that those two part numbers work on those hose. You can definitely do it because there's no hose that fits that. My diagram worked perfect, a little piece of cardboard, and hey, those two part numbers, they work. Two unions you need, money. So guys, I got my pipe in here for the Y bridge. So this is what I'm going to do. So it's basically going to bolt down in here. I'm going to remove all the tabs that the stock points of where this thing bolted to is one there and there's one there. So I'm going to have to cut this weld right here, rotate this pipe up like this, and then it's going to go from two and whatever this is to three inch. Now this is the downfall of keeping the stock Y bridge where I could have just done a three inch Y bridge and then boom, boom, then easier. But at the time and the money I'm dropping into this for now, this is going to work. I got this pipe for 80 bucks. Um, they're all over the internet. They range. I saw from like 80 <laughs> to like 150. So anyways, I'm going to cut that out, rotate this up. This map sensor is not going to work. I don't know why this is for a stock Duramax and this totally is not correct. So we'll figure that out, but I'm going to put, I'm going to cut a piece of five inch piping over here. Remember the pipe I used for the exhaust. That's just stainless steel, three inch and cut a five inch section so I can slide it up in here and I'll just do a coupler from a three inch to whatever. I think this is two and a half. Could be wrong. I'll, I'll measure it once I cut it because this extends out to a three inch right here where the old intercooler used to sit. So cut up all that, whatever. Here we go. I got the pieces cut up here. This one, this one. Nothing like cutting up a brand new part that you get. So this piece, we're gonna set on here. And that's where we'll bolt up. And then the curve, that'll go there. And I'm just gonna cut a little extra for now. And then we'll see how this thing's gonna work. And I'm probably gonna have to cut this thing Mm, let's go a little long for right now because I might have to turn it at an angle and get that proper angle. Hey guys, that's going to be a wrap for the video out here at football practice. Um, I was going to put the fuel pump in this one, but it's going to be too long and I just want to make that one a video all by itself. That way it'll just be one item on a video and I kind of should start breaking it down like that. But stay tuned for that. It's coming. I mean, it's already done, basically. Haven't started yet. Haven't first started yet. That's going to be something on its own. I'm still waiting on that little pipe there for the turbo or turbo for the intercooler section to the Y-Bridge. So as soon as that comes in, cranking it up. See you next time.